So it's time for us to go ahead and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S8 and see how this phone holds up in the middle part of 2022. Now one thing I will definitely tell you is the Galaxy S8 is one of the most perplexing phones Samsung has ever made. Physically and just you know software wise internally it is a very beautiful phone with so much capability. Now it wouldn't be the phone I would recommend people to buy anymore but I love this phone and from a 2017 device that still is kind of holding up in this day and age I think it's a very good phone that Samsung made for sure. Now starting off with the outside, again, not much has changed since the first time it's been out, but well, there's been a lot of other phones that have came out since this device, including the Galaxy S22, since I did my earlier review of this thing, and I kind of found that the Galaxy S8 has held up extremely well throughout time. I mean, the iPhone X, the Galaxy S8, those 2017 devices still hold up extremely well in this day and age, almost five years later, honestly. Now with the Galaxy S8, you still have that beautiful AMOLED panel, Super AMOLED display on the front, and this is a 1440p panel. It is a higher resolution than the Galaxy S22. Now the S22 is definitely the better phone and everything, but it's still pretty insane to me how good of a job Samsung did on the Galaxy S8 panel, you know, over five years ago. And another thing, this is probably the biggest asset we have going for something like the Galaxy S8. We had USB Type-C with Samsung DeX. This was, I think, one of the first Samsung phones to offer Samsung DeX, which was amazing. We have a headphone jack on this thing too, which is cool, but we also have a micro SD card slot on this device, which is those three things in and of itself. We don't really have phones like that anymore. You know, we have phones that offer some cool things here and there, but for this type of phone to have this type of capability, it's amazing, and I love that kind of stuff from Samsung. Unfortunately, like I've stated, we don't really have that anymore, but I think it was really cool what Samsung did at this time and looking at the future I mean the body of this thing still holds up very very well. Now it's been outdated with software since One UI 1. We're approaching One UI 5 now so that's probably the biggest kind of you know downside of this specific device. I still think it has a lot of capability. I still think it you know, brings a lot to the table, but in this day and age, it kind of puts this phone in a weird situation, mostly because when you get a phone, you want it to still have a future ahead of it. This phone doesn't really have too much of a future ahead of it. On top of that, a lot of the application updates aren't really going to be there that much longer either. And in fact, in fact, I think a lot of them probably are going out now. So you know, that's probably another thing to keep in mind. But another thing I've been doing recently is actually doing some really heavy gaming on some of these older phones. And the Galaxy S8 is one of the phones I've been testing. And one thing that I've been seeing constantly with this type of device is actually with the gaming capability in terms of graphics. So something to kind of keep in mind is that a lot of games, a lot of heavier applications too probably, are offering ways to go ahead and give you really good experience with the same type of game. So what I mean by that is basically we have different graphic we have different graphic capabilities so we can go ahead and lower the graphics we can go and lower textures and different things like that so you can get very similar you know performance to a top tier flagship but you will be on lower graphics so there is a trade-off but i still like having that option with the galaxy s8 we're pretty much in the same boat so we can go ahead and lower the graphics a little bit if we want to and get kind of a decent experience on that side too so to kind of sum up this video what i'll definitely tell you is the Galaxy S8 is definitely not the first phone I would recommend people to buy. I think it's a different type of situation as of right now, but I still appreciate a lot of what this phone brought. I think it had, uh, you know, a lot of stuff in the table, if you will, but I don't think it's probably the phone I would recommend buying. I think the lowest one I would recommend is the Galaxy S10, which that is a beautiful phone. I love that phone a lot. The Galaxy S8 is in a little bit of a different category, but that's kind of how it's summed it up in this day and age. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then